In this class we will learn how to use the command base flange slash tab, located in the sheet metal toolbar, which is disabled by default. To enable it, we press the right mouse button on any of these tabs and choose the sheet metal option. We can customize this toolbar by including or removing the desired features. To do this, we click this arrow and go to Customize, Change to Commands and choose the category of Metal Sheets. In this case, we will add the resource shown in the first group and the mirror resource. To add, just drag and drop. In the course of the course we will teach you how to use and apply each feature of this toolbar. Let's start with the basic feature, which is similar to the solids extrusion command. When we click on this first feature, we are asked to select a plan to start a sketch, then select the front plane and create two profiles. If we already had a sketch created, it would be enough to activate the base flange feature and change its properties. We then draw two profiles, one closed and one open. Remembering that splines and open profiles are not accepted. Use the D key and confirm the sketch. Note that a message is displayed, making it impossible to create the resource because the two profiles are separate and in the same sketch. Therefore, we must create a profile on each sketch. Now we activate the feature and then apply it in a standard manner, without changing anything, to these two sketches. See the difference, in the open profile the sheet was created as if it were a thin sheet, already in the closed profile, a flat plate was created. We deleted the features and activated the command again to analyze the properties of that feature. Note in the property manager of this feature some options that can be changed. In direction 1 we see the final condition similar to that of other features, we leave it as blind, and we change the distance to 40 mm. We can add a second direction, but in this case, we leave this option disabled. The table option we will see in the next class. In parameters we can change the thickness and radius of the plate. We can also reverse the direction of thickness. In bend allowance is where we define the margin or fold tolerance of the plate. You can choose one of these options. The K factor option is used to calculate the radius representing the average side of the sheet metal, measuring from the inside, with respect to the thickness of the sheet metal. That is, if we leave the value at 0,5, the middle line will lie exactly to the center of the thickness. If you prefer to enter a value based on some data or calculation you have already done, 
you can click on the option Bend Allowance, or Bend Deduction. The choice of these options will depend on the experience you have with sheet manufacturing. If you do not have this information, it is advised to leave it in the pattern. The automatic relief option, or auto relief, will be studied further. In addition to creating a foundation with this feature, we can create fastening tabs. We confirm, reactivate the feature, select that face and profile a tab, C. We confirm the sketch and note that automatically merge results option is enabled. If the outline was opened, the feature would not create this tab. We confirm the command and note that a resource has been created with another identification symbol, visually identifying that a tab has been created. We edit the feature and deselect this option. See that now the icon has returned to its default and so two bodies have been created, as this folder shows us. In this class we learned how to use the base flange slash tab feature, which has two different applications, to create flanges and tabs used for fixing the plate.